Sean? It's me, it's Felicia. You have to get well, because I don't know what I'd do if anything happened to you. I guess a part of me is kind of angry at you for doing this and getting yourself into this kind of mess. And Frisco, too. But it's only because I love you so much. I love both of you. And I've been so worried about you. Sean, I've been so confused ever since Frisco joined the WSB again. He lied to me. But I love him, and... I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I mean, he joined the WSB. But I'm going to have a baby now, and I... Oh, I guess I'm just sort of rattling on. You can't even hear what I'm saying anyway. It doesn't really make... You squeeze my hand. You can hear me? Well, if you can hear me, you listen to me. You have to get well because... Because I need you. And I love you. And everybody else needs you. Mind if I come in? Nobody's home. Well, actually, I, I wanted to talk to you, if you've got a minute. Well, I don't want to seem rude, but I got a lot on my mind today. No, no, it'll just take a minute. Actually, we can talk right here. That'd be fine. Um, I had a word with Colton earlier, and he mentioned that he saw Felicia. He did? Yeah. Actually, we didn't get a chance to finish our conversation. He had to go down and check on Decker and... Well, I'm sure that situation will work out just fine. Do you think so? Do you really think it will? Well, I don't see why not. I mean, you have a lot of friends down at police headquarters, and, you know, people in Port Charles, right? We all help one another. So, actually, I'm hoping that you could help me right now. If you know anything about my wife, where she is, I'd appreciate it if you'd tell me. Colton lives his life, and I live mine. I understand that. And what makes you think I would know anything about your wife anyway, or anybody else in my family? Good heavens. Well, I got rid of him. But I'll tell you something, he almost kicked a hole in the door. You should see it. It's a great old big black mark out there. It's okay, I don't have to see it. All that temper and a grown man. What was he doing here in the first place? I guess he's looking for you. Trying to butter me up when he knows how worried I am about Decker. Well, what did he say? Something about Colton mentioned you or something. Colton said he wouldn't say anything. I don't get this. I don't like this. Well, neither did Frisco. He promised me. You didn't say anything, did you? No, I didn't say anything. I kept your little secret. Well, the way you treated this family, I wonder if that was such a good idea. What, Frisco? There's hardly a table left in the house. Is that right? Oh, Mary. Oh, what? I almost forgot. Um, that, that reporter, Chef Casey, uh, would you make sure that his name is on the list? I promised him a place. Uh, Casey, Casey. Yeah. I better do it now or Chef, else. Chef, Chef, Chef Casey. Woof, okay. Woof. Woof. Casey. <laughs> oh, we'll have to hang him in the cloakroom. Casey, Casey. Frisco, that sounds wonderful. Frisco, Frisco. Frisco. Thanks, Mary. You play it again, Sham. Say it again. Oh, I'm so glad that you are here. So glad. What's the problem? Uh, only the worst case of stage fright that I've ever had. Why do you have stage fright? You've played in front of people most... You're not even playing, by the way. I know. I know. Well, why don't you just tell my stomach that, okay? It's a nice song. Thanks. Is that something you've been working on? Yeah. 
not quite finished yet, though. Well, I... I like it. It sounds really great. May, may I? May I look at it? Fine. Okay. Oh, this is good. This is really... I like this chord right there. Are you gonna play this tonight? I don't know if I'll have it together by then. You see, I wrote this for... This woman in my life. But I don't know if she's actually in my life or not. Ah, come on. Don't say that. Well, <clears throat> Catherine kind of boils down to this. You know, I've been going through a lot lately. I've been looking for her. I don't know where the hell she is. She shows up in town, and she goes straight to her ex-husband. I don't know what's going on. I don't understand it. I don't know anything, but I do know this. She loves you. You love her. And if she came bouncing in these doors, you'd pick her up in your arms and you'd twirl her around and... I think everything would be fine. I'll either do that or wring her little neck. Mm -hmm. 